put the bead trimmer there and go vroom, vroom. easy as that, right? Welcome to episode five of my Man Bun Monthly series. Holy hell, five weeks of this series already, and I just can't believe it. The feedback I've gotten from you guys is really cool, and I'm just so happy that you are interested to watch this kind of stuff. The point of this whole series, if you're brand new, is to just bring Man Bun inspiration and tips and tricks to keep your Man Bun looking its best. And today, we're gonna to be talking about keeping your sideburns nice and tidy. Now, this is one question that I've gotten a lot. Um, specifically on the last couple of Man Bun episodes, like people asking me what I do with my sideburns, and I thought, I have no idea why I've never even documented this before, and today is the day. Episode five is the time that we trim our sideburns. So I went to the hairdresser not so long ago, and I got a trim done. I took him into the hairdresser with me, and I actually specifically asked my hairdresser, Josh, to leave my sideburns behind, and my werewolf bits, the guys that sit at the back there, the ones that grow halfway down your neck, you know those? I asked him to leave them behind because I knew I'd be doing this video and I'm pretty much just gonna be shaving them for you today and show you how I do it from home. The reason I wanted to show you guys how I tidy up my sideburns from home is because I'm at home more than I'm at the hairdresser. Because I've been growing my hair out, I have been going to the hairdresser, what, every eight to 12 weeks? That's like a three month period. And of course in that three month period, my sideburns and my werewolf bits get a little bit out of control and I need something to keep them tidy. And the reason like I think cleaning the up for a man bun is so important is because we always have our hair tied up right so if we had our hair down or if we didn't like well I don't know do you wear your hair down a lot uh, let me know in the comment section below but I wear my hair up most of the time so whilst I'm wearing my hair up as these grow they become very prominent and everybody can see them and I just am really not a fan of werewolf bits so let's get rid of these I'm not really precise with this I don't do any blending or sweet fading or whatever I literally like just pick a line and shave it off which I'm gonna be showing you in a minute and when we get to the back uh, you've got to be a little bit careful because <laughs> there's risk involved with this all right so you could fuck your hair up if you're not careful so I would always recommend to be very very careful I don't have to worry so much about these side bits but when I do the back I'm gonna take you into the bathroom and I kind of like really have a look at it and make sure I'm double checking it with my second mirror because if you fuck up the back, then that's fucked. <laughs> All I use to trim my sides is my Remington beard trimmer. Don't judge me, but I use this to shave my whole body. I beard trim my whole body these days. I don't use a razor. I'll only use a razor on my face. And this Remington guy, I got him for about 15 bucks off Amazon and it was the best thing I ever bought because you just charge it up and you can shave away and it's cheap and never runs out. And if I ever need to buy another one, then it's cheap. I try my best to get all of my hair slicked back as much as possible. You'll see how slicked back it is today. And that's because I don't really wanna be touching any of this hair. Like if I get this with the beard trimmer and it comes off, I'm gonna fuck my hair up. So I do my best to slick it all back. I use my, um, what do you call it? My Aunt Jackie's flaxseed gel to really get that back. And it reveals, you can actually see where I've, where I come and shave in. I just kind of like put the beard trimmer there and go vroom, vroom. easy as that, right? But you want to make sure that your hair is pinned back. I've used a couple of bobby pins because I do have a lot of flyaways that hang out there. I am really cautious with the back as well. So I'll do these side bits in front of this mirror right here on camera for you. And then we're going to migrate to the bathroom and I'll show you how I do it in there. So we're going to start in here. You can see the line that I've shaven it to before. I'm just going to like, what I do is I like make sure I grab all that hair there. I try to protect it as much as possible and just expose the part that I want to shave off. Three, two, one, here we go. <laughs> Ta-da! As simple as that. I'm gonna get it nice and cleanly. There's probably a little bit more I could get there. I could probably get up a little bit, but be careful. Ho ho, there we go. I'll give you a close up of that. See, nice and tidy, just like that. A couple of little baby hairs there, but I try to just keep it to the line and keep it nice and tidy. It doesn't look too like crazy. I just think it looks nice and neat. And that's all I'm really going for with this, right? And then I'll just quickly go over and do the other side. This side seems to be a little bit longer. I don't know how this happened.
And there we go, that's the second side done. This side's actually a little bit dry. It's winter here at the moment, so my skin is like pretty much battling. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's pretty much my sides, nice and clean. Just like that. If you guys want to go and uh, invest in one of these Remington trimmers, I'm going to leave a link in the description box for you below. But in the meantime, now that we've done our sides, easy peasy, right? Uh, we're going to go into the bathroom and we're going to uh, hack away at these back werewolf pieces, okay? I'll see you there. Whew. Okay, now it's time for part two of this video, and we are now in my bathroom. Welcome. Oh, you can see my werewolf bits right there. They're so gross. Okay, so now with the werewolf parts, we're gonna just pretty much go ahead and shave with it. When you're looking in the mirror, I kind of like just stand like this, and I will hack away at what I can see, and then eventually I kind of have to like trim away at bits that I can't see, but kind of trust myself. And the way that I do this in a steady process without fucking it up is, I'll trim a little bit off, then I'll get my mirror, and I'll check that I'm not fucking it up, and then I'll put the mirror down and I'll go at it again, just to make sure. You're better off doing it in small chunks like this to make sure you're not fucking your hair, rather than doing, oh, you know, like a random bunch and just hoping for the best, because that way you're probably gonna shave a heap of the hair off that you just spent a year and a bit growing, and that's not what we're after, okay? So I'm gonna get to that. I'll just shave a little bit off this side here. What I'm gonna do is, just shield my hairline, like I can kind of feel with my finger where my hairline actually is. So it's kind of like protecting it as much as I possibly can. And then I'm gonna turn my razor on and I'm just gonna shave a little bit, check it in the mirror and do exactly what I just said. Shut up, Tom. Okay, there's our first clump of hair. And already I can see, I haven't, oh, this is needs to focus. Already you can see, like I haven't done any major damage, it's just the werewolfy bits. Then I will come and do a check. I could probably go a little bit higher up here, but see like, I wouldn't go there originally because like I just didn't know. Like <laughs> I just didn't know where I was putting it. So now I've kind of got a gauge on how much higher I can go. It's probably, yeah, a little bit higher like that. And bearing in mind, I could fuck this up at any moment. So I'm taking the risk by doing this, but I've done it enough times now that I don't think I'm gonna be fucking it up. But you never know. Looks like I'm not doing too bad, actually. Give that a little check. Ooh. I actually got it very nice just there, but there's a little bit behind my ear that I could probably get a little bit better. Can I like see behind there? Oh, I can actually fold my ear. <laughs> All right, cool, here we go. I'm gonna fold my ear back, get tricky with it. All right, do another check. Yeah, it's looking tidy. There is like a tiny little bit behind my ear that I probably feel a little bit reluctant to go near just because it's so close to the hairline and I can't really see it. So I'm gonna leave that one because my ear pretty much covers it. But for the most part, like that werewolf piece is done. And then what I would do is I would just repeat the process on the other side. Okay, and that's as far as I'm willing to go. Okay, and that is how I trim my sideburns. So, me doing it freehand like you just saw in the mirror earlier, don't try that if you're not comfortable at this. I'm like getting pretty good at it now, so like doing something like that is fairly straightforward and easy for me, and I can still do a pretty good job. I'm actually really happy with the job I've just done, so that's great for this video. Simply, if we just go and recap that, there's just a simple few rules. Make sure you have a beard trimmer that's small and nimble. I really recommend something like this Remington. He's so like nimble and swish and like you just charge it up. You've got no cable. It's not big and bulky and it just works well. Best buy as well, 15 bucks off Amazon and yeah, will last you forever. Best friend, shave my whole body with it. Rule number two, make sure you hoist all of your hair back. Try and eliminate as much risk as possible. When we're shaving these sides, it can get very risky as you're getting the trimmer in there. So the more you can pin your hair back, I've got like a thousand bobby pins in my hair today, the better. Also use a hand like to guard the hairline when you're doing it. 
that's another thing. And when you're in the mirror doing the werewolf pieces, make sure you have a second mirror and you do it bit by bit because, yeah, if you fuck your hair up, you fuck your hair up. And if you've been growing it out, that is definitely like the worst thing ever. So yeah. And rule number four, if you're not comfortable doing any of this on your own, fuck the whole plan and get somebody else to do it for you. I'm sure your roommate or your mum or a family member, somebody will be happy to do it for you. You just got to have the trimmer and the time, I guess. But it's just the simple and cheaper way to keep that man bun nice and tidy in between visits to the hairdresser. I know how it feels. I've been getting asked this question so often lately and I thought, how the hell have I never answered it before? And I thought this man bun series was going to be the best way to deliver it. So yeah, make sure you leave me a comment letting me know how you found this video. Uh, in the first 24 hours, I will be responding to all comments. I think I'm going to kind of make that a thing. Uh, I really like talking to you guys and reading what you have to say. It's a bit of fun for me. And make sure if you have long hair and a man bun, which I'm sure if you're watching this video, you probably do, make sure you join my Facebook group. There's going to be a link down below and it'll take you to a messenger service. The messenger service just helps me filter out spammers a little bit more. But essentially what you do is you go into the messenger service, you click get started and automatically the bot will start sending you like my Facebook link and all the instructions and stuff. So yeah, if you're keen on joining, we have a really good community in there. We all talk man buns. We've all got long hair. Actually, there's a few short head guys in there at the moment as well. We just talk everything hair related and kind of check in with each other. So it's a really fun time and I'd love to see you in there. All right. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Come back for more man, uh, monthly man bun content. If you haven't watched any of the other episodes yet, I will leave a heap of cards up above and I will leave a link to the entire playlist in the description box below for you. And that's pretty much all I have for you this week. Okay. Until my next Man Bun Monthly episode, I will see you later. Goodbye!